Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, my name is Ella Septiani My study number 120104251960 I am from Trisi English Education Department Okay, I want to give an explanation of the intermediate English grammar about Material about adjective and adverb You need uh, 96 to 100 Happy watching all. Okay, for the first unit, I will explain about the infinitive uh, after adjective, which here I will discuss four point. Okay, first point about compare these two sentences. Number one, you can use the structure in sentence, the after difficult or easy or impossible or hard, and after a view other adjective. And number two, you can also do this structure with an adjective plus noun. For example, your writing is almost impossible to write. Not to write it it is almost impossible to write your writing. Uh, second point, we use the infinitive after the first or the second or the third, etc. And also after the text and the last. For example, who was the first person to reach the South Pole? Okay, third point, you can use the infinitive after a number of adjectives to say how someone feels about something. For example, I was sorry to hear that your father is ill. And fourth point, not the structure, it is nice of someone to do something. Uh, for example, it was nice of you to take me to the airport. Uh, the second, I will explain about comparison one, cheaper, more expensive, etc. And here I will also explain fourth point. And first point, cheaper and more expensive are comparative form. Uh, second point, we use ER for the comparative of short adjective and adverb. Example, this jacket is too small. I need a larger size. Uh, for third point, we use more, not ER for other two syllable adjective and longer longer adjective example her illness was more serious than we first throw and a fourth point before the comparative of adjective and adverb you can use you can use example let's go by car it's much or a lot cheaper uh, and next, I will explain about comparison two, and here I will also explain two point. Some adjective and adverb have irregular comparative form, not the comparative words more. For example, I smoke more than I use to. And number two, older and elder. Example. Tom looks older than he really is. Okay, now I will explain about comparison tree as bling bling as or then. And here I will also explain fourth point. First point. Here are some more examples of not as bling bling as. Example, I don't know as many people as you do. Uh, second point, you can also use as, bling bling as, but not so bling bling as. In positive sentence and in question, for example, I'm sorry, I'm late. I got hair as fast as I could. And third point, sometimes you can use two comparative together, harder and harder, more and more, 
more and more difficult. Example, it's becoming harder and harder to find a job. And fourth point, not the structure, the plus comparative, the better. Example, the warmer the weather, the better I feel. Finally, I will explain about superlative, the longest, the most enjoyable, etc. And here, I will also explain five points. Number one, longest and most enjoyable are superlative form. Number two, we use EST or most to form the superlative of adjective and adverb. Example, that was the most boring movie I have ever seen. Number three, oldest and eldest. Example, that house over there is the oldest building in the town. My eldest or oldest son is 13 years old. Number four, after superlative, we use in West Place, for example, What's the best movie you have ever seen? And number five, we sometimes use most plus adjective without the two mean very. Example, it was most generous of you, very generous. Okay, I think it's all for this time being. Thanks for your attention and I am sorry for my weaknesses. See you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.